All right. Happy Thursday, everybody. I am Brooke Silva, your regional technology trainer, and we are part two of our back to school series. And today is one of my favorite things because I come from the world of marketing and design. So I love when we have consistent branding and different things like that. So do we have any questions from last week before we dive into marketing profiles? All right. If you do have questions, pop them in the chat and we'll get to them. All right. My phone is blowing up. It is my birthday. So if you see birthday messages come across the screen like a crazy lady, I tried to pause my notifications, but my Mac is blowing up. So let's talk about marketing profile. All right. Can you guys all see my command? Thumbs up, thumbs down. I can't see you. Awesome. Thank you. All right. All right. Thanks, Robert. All right. Robert, are you going to jump into the chat if there's any questions while I'm sharing? Yes, ma'am. Oh, you're the best. Best birthday present I could have asked for today. All right. So when we want to market and we want to send smart plans or create designs, Aw, thanks, Robert. What we want to do is we want to do it once. And we want to make it so that our stuff is just there. So we're just swapping out a few things. So there are a few places in Keller Williams where we need to update our stuff. So we're going to... Can you guys see again? My whole thing just changed just so as you guys can see it. All good. Oh, perfect. Sorry. So I just had a big thing pop up that said participants can or cannot see. Anyway. So there's a couple places. So you're probably familiar with MyKW. And when you log in, you may see your face. You may not if it's empty. But your profile here is really what starts things. This is probably the first place that you've updated. It's a little slow. But you can update your photo. And then you're going to go in whoa, here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Backup truck. What is all that designations? Holy crap. Listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> This is how I get to help all the market no, the, This What this looks like is now we know who runs this company. <laughs> uh, well, what can I say? I, I, Listen, your market centers have me come in as market center leadership so I can help them help you guys. So this, this is how I'm able to see um, inside of the organizations. But back to me and my marketing profile. We're going to make sure that all your info is here. So if you ever get asked for your KWUID, here it is. You go to my KW and you log into your profile and you can see this. You may need this for when you sign up for things like Mega Camp or Family Reunion or other KW events. Even Bold will ask you for this. This is how we connect you and tell KW that, hey, you participated. You're going to put your market center information, business phone, all that, blah, 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 blah. But then I want to make sure you guys see this very important thing at the bottom. This, so I went in and checked this off before. If it, this says display profile on kw.com and you have this as a no, no matter what we do on the command side, your information will not show. On the Market Center website, your website. So we have to make sure this is checked off. The other thing that's super important is here is password recovery email. So friends, if this were to say b.silva at kw.com and this is b.silva at kw.com and I'm locked out of b.silva at kw.com but my password recovery email is b.silva at kw.com, I am out of luck. You're going to have to contact support during the week. So make sure Inception this is... Inception email. Yes, it's so tricky. So just make sure your your password recovery email is your personal email. Okay, so now I've turned my profile back on and I'm going to click save. So now my marketing profile and I'll say up here, you're saved. So that was your MyKW profile. That's just one part of the process. Okay, so Command is our end-to-end -end platform where we're going to be doing our marketing, our smart plans. So what we're going to do is we're going to update it in two places. And now they try to trick you by putting profile here. But 
that's not what we're going to do. We're actually going to go uh, to settings. And this is where you are going to start to set up your marketing profile that gets seen on everything, your website, your app, the smart plans, designs, everything there. We're going to go over to connect settings on the left and then boom, your marketing profile shows up. From here, you have to put a picture or you cannot save anything here. Now friends, put a picture of your dog. Put a picture that you loved from your wedding. Use your high school photo. I don't care what you use at this point if you don't have a headshot because nobody's going to see this stuff until you send it or make it public somewhere. So just to get moving forward, put the realtor logo. Put something so that we can move forward with your marketing profile. Now, raise your hand in here if you are on a team. Is anybody on a team? Or put yes in the chat. We have a lot of solo agents. This is not for you. If you are not on a team, don't put something here. Okay? This is not for you. You can put a personal logo, but if you put something here, this is the one spot in command that we cannot delete something from. So if you did that, the workaround is to grab the realtor.com logo. You can just go to, I'm going to put this right in the chat for you guys. You can go here and grab whichever one of these logos floats your boat. You want the blue one? You want the black one? Perfect. Always grab the PNG, and I'm going to explain why in a moment. Yes, but Robert, sometimes people's aesthetic, their branding doesn't go with blue. They want the black one, so let them have the black one. All right, Robert, we'll go with blue today. All right, so you can see I have my logo in there. And we're just going to follow it down, and literally it's follow the prompts. What's your first name? What's your last name? Your titles, your designations. So yes, Steve, if you do have your office, your KW logo in there, you should change it because I'm going to show you where the DBA logo goes because if you have it in there, it's going to show up twice on things and it looks a little funky. So grab that realtor logo as long as you pay your dues and put it in there. Does everybody know how to get the R registered symbol or the black one, Robert, on a keyboard or on a Mac? Who has a Mac? Raise their hands. All right, are you ready for this? I'm going to put it in the chat. Option R. Boom! Makes a registered symbol. Okay? If you are on a PC or a Chromebook and you have a number pad, you are going to hold the Alt key down and 0174 on your number pad. Now, friends, this only works if you have a number pad. If you don't, Google the words registered symbol and then just copy the registered symbol out and paste it right in and now you've got your realtor in there so option r and then it puts it in there for you a lot of people ask me how to get that registered symbol did you know that one robert on the 0174 i'm proud of you it's because i taught you all right military affiliation <laughs> This is brand new and so important. So if you are affiliated with the military branch, you can go in here and pick active duty, reserves, veteran, or are you a military spouse? And then you can pick the service details. So were you Space Force, Navy, National Guard, Coast Guard, so on and so on and so on, and you can pick that affiliation. Now, if you picked something by accident and you picked the wrong one, notice that that red, I can't circle it, you are a space cadet. Um, the red X pops up and then you just click that and it goes away. If you are in multiple branches of the military, go ahead and put those in. Your bio, put it in. If you don't know your bio yet, put the state and put real estate, NH Realtor, NH Real Estate Agent. Whatever you want to do, just put something in here until you're ready to create your bio. So now here's where we get into some of the legal stuff. Your mobile phone. Some states you have to call out, sell an office, and it will do that in parts of command. 
This is your office phone, not your personal office phone line if you've got one that's separate than your cell. This is the office phone. Fax if you still rely on dinosaurs for paperwork. Your Keller Williams business email. And your website. And if you don't have a website yet, that's fine. Any questions so far, guys? Oh, hi, Dawn. I love seeing everybody pop up. All right. No questions? Dawn, I'm looking at you. You're the only one who's popped up on my screen. I'm good. All right. Thanks. Good. All right. What I want you guys to notice is that my Market Center logo looks like crap here. Like, look at this thing. It's squishy. It's blurry. It is not fun looking. But I promise you, when I show you my website in a moment, it's going to be perfectly fine. This is just a weird view issue in the marketing profile. And I'm going to tell you guys to use the PNG file that is available to you. Now, PN, this is going to be the nerdiest thing I say to you all day. So don't feel like I'm going to overwhelm you with any more tech after this. PNG stands for Portable Network Graphic. So where do most of our graphics show up now? Online. What that does is it, it gives you that beautiful trans parent logo how many of you have ever dropped the logo onto something and it's white around it and it you can't see behind it that's a jpeg also jpegs lose quality online every time they are viewed so every time a page is viewed or refreshed the quality goes down little by little by little pngs are beautiful clear and are easier to work with for anything design related i'm going to show you how that looks in designs after so you're going to pop it here. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. You did PNG's description. What is a JPEG? Oh, God. What does it stand for again? <sighs> oh, oh, oh. Don't make me Google it. Joint. Pixel. Photographics export group. Somewhere in New Hampshire, my dad is cringing, and he doesn't know why, because I grew up the kid of a photographer. <laughs> You know why? It's because I don't play with them anymore. They're so 1995. All right. So we're going to plop that here, but I want you to remember it looks oogie. That's okay. Because let's take a quick look at my KW site. You're going to see, look at, it's gorgeous. It's fine. It looks perfect. Okay. So then you're going to put your brokerage name. So now even though you're in Plainville, it may be called something else. You may be in Portland, it may be called something else. If you're in Burlington, Vermont, it may be called KW Vermont or, so it's whatever your broker just called. Please use the whole word, like don't put KW, put Keller Williams and then your brokerage, okay? Again, your market center brokerage office phone number goes here. The address, the city, state, postal code and then if you are required to have your brokerage license number in there go ahead and put that in that last one any questions on and I'm going to show you where you can get this logo in a moment after we go through all of this any questions on this section guys oh my god Robert is this thing on do you hear me no Okay, good. okay, good. I'm just... Oh, we, hear you. we hear you. Fine. No, no I can't hear <laughs> All right. So let's go to the compliance. Brooke, stop talking. I can't hear Brooke. <laughs> <laughs> so now, at the very bottom, this is going to change state by state. So please check with your broker. But the only thing you need from KW is what we call our ownership statement. Wherever our logo appears, the ownership statement must appear. Lucky for us, most designs and our website have this everywhere. But just to CYA, you are going to put each office is independently owned and operated in this section. Again, this is called our ownership statement, and you can find it there. All right. Then we are one of those regions where we don't need 8,000 PDFs, you can go ahead and ignore this for now unless you have a brokerage or state that requires you to attach a PDF with every email that goes out. Let's just be happy compliance wise, most of our states don't need this. New York, you need to send like a book in every email. 
social. This is not your personal accounts, okay? We, we own businesses. So this is going to be your business Facebook, your business Instagram. If you don't have a YouTube, but you want a YouTube, use the KW generic one. It's fantastic. And then your LinkedIn. That is your personal one. If you have never heard the words Facebook pixel and ads or Google Analytics ID, let's skip that part. Okay, that's a future thing if you want to do some ad advanced tracking with marketing. So don't even worry about that. So we've got all this stuff in. We click save. Boom. Our marketing profile is done. What it does is it pre-fills that other profile that was up here. And now this is for KW Connect. This is for referral network. This is for other places. That's not what runs your marketing. So you can just click on that after and verify that everything came over the way you wanted it, right? So you see my picture, my bio came over, do, 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 and there I am. All right, so let's talk about where we find some of those things. So your MCA, your MCTT, there may be a, a, joint, um, a shared drive with your logos, but they exist for everyone on MyKW. So if we go over to MyKW, at the top you should see marketing. And I'm gonna plop this into the chat as well. Oops. Robert, can you, it's only pasting something else. Can you plop the um, MyKW no, in for me? Around. Thank you. One of the first things you're gonna see at the top left, logos and branding. All right, so if you ever want to know all the dorky, nerdy rules about identity and style guide, because there are rules, I'm just going to put that out there once, about how to use the logos and branding, you click on this, it downloads a 45-page document, read it at your leisure. But when we start to scroll, we're going to see a little box down here where you can search by market center name or your market center number. And by the way, that ownership statement here tells you again, all advertising, promos, displays, letterhead, business forms have to include the Market Center logo and the ownership statement. If it can be replicated, duplicated, printed, handed to the board, you want the logo and the ownership statement on it, okay? So let's just use, Robert, what's your Market Center number? Actually, never mind. I'm just going to put 700 in because I know that Fine. one. Four six three. Forget it. Never mind. No, don't, don't bother. Not you. Whoever seven hundred. Whatever. I don't care. So I put the market center. Number. It is about you. <laughs> so I put the market center number, and I'm able to verify. Yep, I work at Coastal Lakes and Mountains, and I'm going to download it. It is going to give you a zip file that has a whole bunch of logos. Can we see my? My screen still with the um, file explorer. Yes, no, yes. yes. Browser only. You still only see my browser? Okay, hold on. I will share a little different so we can, there we go. How about now? You got it. All right, so you can see in this folder, they give you a whole bunch of black and white logos. Okay, this one's all white, so you won't see it. Um, but notice the PNG logo is there. So this one is white with gray and this one's all gray. RGB, this is where you'll find your um, color one, red and white, boom, 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 red, black, and gray. So you can see that there's a whole bunch of different versions in there that you can snag, okay? If you do not see one for your office, check with your MCA or your MCTT, because they usually have it. Just ask them for the PNG version of the KW logo, and they'll get it for you. Okay. Questions on that so far? No. Oh, Craig, that you? No, I didn't. Sorry. Oh, okay. Questions, questions? All right, so let me show you the Secret Squirrel brand asset place that not a lot of people play with. And I love this. And it's hidden in designs. Because what you can do is, so we've loaded one logo in our marketing profile, and that will go to everything. But what if I want to load 
every logo in every color so that whatever I'm doing in marketing looks gorgeous. So if a red logo doesn't work, perfect. I got an all white, I got a gray and white. So watch this. We're gonna head over to designs and remember friends, if you don't know where you are in command, hit that red KW and it shows you the words. I'm gonna go down to designs and I'm gonna trick it by going to import design. Up at the top, you're gonna to see the word assets. Check this out. So say you have a color that is your branding, you can add different color palettes. So you just click and add the colors that call to your soul or that are part of your logo. Do, 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 okay. If you have a special font, I know it's blue with you, Robert, but what Pantone blue? So if you have a special font, like of course I have the Star Wars font in there or crayons or a neon one, right? So you can add fonts that are specific to your branding. So say you worked with a logo designer and they used a specific font, ask them for the font so you can load it in here so that your marketing matches it. But what I wanna do is go down to images because what you can do is add the images to your library that you're going to use all the time. So if you've been on my website or you've been on my Facebook, these are some of the um, purple images that are behind me on most things. Oh, that is old. Goodbye. All right. Then under text, <laughs> right, right, Jill, that, that was old Brooke. That was old Brooke. You can add fields that you use all the time. So maybe you use hashtags all the time. Look at this. Hashtags ready to go. You can add more emails, more websites. Maybe you have a tagline. You can add all kinds of fields, visions. If it doesn't exist, go new text and name it. Then logos. So see these grids? That's how you know you have a PNG. What I'm going to do is upload one of those JPEG so you can see the difference. Okay, so let me grab this one. I'm gonna upload this one so you can see that there's gonna be white behind it and see how it's not as good looking. Let's put that on something in a minute. But you can also add videos and other files here. What I also like about this being in this version is that you can create folders under my design. See how I have all these folders? I can move things by dragging and dropping them. Do, 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 right? And off they go. And you can also create blank designs from here. So say you're feeling uber like creative, you can just go from scratch, okay? But let's go from a template so I can show you what it looks like when you put a JPEG on there instead of the PNG logo. Mm, don't want. Mm, don't want. Yes, we're getting better. Oh, here we go. Okay. So many choices, right? There's over 1,500 designs in here at any time. So watch this. So I've got my logos. Look at how a PNG looks. There's no white behind it, and it just blends so much better with the design. Now launch the JPEG. Right? Like that is not, that is not nice. But look, look at how nice that is. Isn't that so much better design-wise? It just makes your designs look so much cleaner because we don't always design on a white background with all of our stuff, okay? The other really cool thing is under text and workspace, you don't even have to type out each office is independently owned and operated. It's in there for you. So one click and you add it right to it. And you can stretch it out and you can change the color and there you go, right? So I spell independently wrong. I know how to spell it. My fingers type it a very different way. So by having it right there in designs and in part of your marketing profile, you're ready to go. Does anyone have any questions about the PNG versus JPEG and how we got it? I know I am smacking down the JPEG, Robert, because look at this. That does not look great. Does it? Okay. 
So I just love watching you. <laughs> you just crack me up. <laughs> So notice, guys, that when we were here, though, all of the things I added either from my marketing profile or from that assets area, I was able to just pull in. So if you're going to your designs and they're empty and you don't have anything to swap out, it's probably because you haven't done your marketing profile, right? So now, because I did, I can come in and add my logos or swap them or change my background, do any of that stuff, right? Ooh, that's pretty. It's wonderful. Oh, I like this. Anyway, I could design all day. So all of our assets are in because we did our marketing profile. So let's hop out of designs. Do, 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 do. And let's go back into that marketing profile. So again, we went up to our name at the top right. We went to settings, we went to connect settings, and we went to marketing profile. Notice at the top right, there's a little toggle. Yours may not be green, it may be gray. This is what allows your information to be published and to, so you could start creating your websites. Well, we will do that on a different um, tech time. That is not today. But what you're able to do is once you click that, then everything else is going to start rolling right into where your website is. So in a few clicks, you become a web designer and have a gorgeous website where people can search quickly and easily for properties and contact you. So again, we've gone through, we have to have a photo. Let it be your dog. Let it be your high school photo. Whatever you want, right? Just so you can save and go forward. What's the rule with teams and logos, Robert? Don't put anything in there unless you're a part of a team with a team logo. Exactly. And if you did it, what was my workaround? Put a blank PNG with one pixel. Oh, no, totally different. Or... Realty, Again. the blue Realty logo. <laughs> or the black one. Whatever screams to your soul, go ahead and choose it as long as, as, long as it matches. You. Whatever you want, right? Whatever makes you happy on your website and your marketing. We know Robert loves blue. Okay. Panto 194052 Classic Blue. Wow. Or your personal logo. Yes, you were listening. You were listening. And again, remember at the bottom we looked and it was squishy and weird and yucky. But look, gorgeous, this is gorgeous, right? All right, questions, gang, because I'm going to set you loose for a few minutes and try to do some updates. So if yours is done, awesome. Go check it. Make sure everything's in there that's supposed to be, including that ownership statement. And if you're struggling to find your logo, let me know, and Robert and I will go on a hunting mission to see where you can get it. So everybody, I want you to take five minutes, go up to your name, double check everything, or start filling it in. And remember, your picture is required. So Robert and I will be sitting here ready to help you. So everybody take a few minutes and do that, okay? Do we want music? I'm going to stop sharing my screen while we do that. Yes, no. please. Music. <laughs> what is good marketing music? A little trolls?
leave it blank. Because if you don't know those words, you don't need to put anything. Okay, so that's it. Done. Yep. And then click save. And if you have everything that you needed, you will be able to have a save profile. And so how do you check it? What do you go to to check it? It, would have, it wouldn't have let you save. You'd get a big red bar on the top that says you are missing something specific. Okay. So it would pop up here at the top. It would say, eh, you need a picture. Or, eh, your email is empty. And again, no team logo if you're not on a team. If you did put something, well, Robert, can you pop the um, realtor.com logo link in for me again, please? Oh, you just can just grab a realtor logo. Will do. Thank you. And remember, see this squishy, yucky looking logo? It's still stunning. It looks perfectly fine. Did anybody need help finding their logo or figuring out who to talk to at the market center to find their logo? Thanks, Robert. The link to the Realtor logo is in the chat for anyone who needs it. And again, make sure you grab the PNG version. It says it right after, right? Download PNG format in the blue. Please don't change this either. You, can all, you can't change the KW logo as well. So how you get the KW logo is how you get it. If you want to create a logo, you cannot combine it with the KW. It needs to be two separate things. Plus, you if you're creating a brand, you want your logo to be um, branded to you, not with the KW one. If you want the KW one to be purple, sorry, friends, can't be purple. You want it to be blue, Robert? Sorry, cannot be blue. That is one of their big rules is that you can't change or adjust what they give you with the KW logos. But like we saw before, you get white, you get gray, you get white and gray, you get black, you get black and gray, you get red and white, you get white. I, I mean, they give it to you in like 25 different variations of all the different colors of KW. Brooke. Yo. Where's the best place to get a personal logo designed? That depends. Um, a lot of people use Fiverr. Yeah. But if you're newer, I would say get really clear on who you are in this industry. Do you have a strong bio, right? Though in the beginning, I would be worried about making sure my value proposition and my bio, and I'm clear on what I wanna be doing in real estate and who you are, right? Mine is pretty specific to what I do, right guys? Like <laughs> there is no question in your mind what I am. So just think about those things when you're designing a logo. I do have a couple people who design locally. They're pretty inexpensive. You're, you're talking 125 to 150. They send you a couple, they work with you, and then you get all the versions. Um, so if you want, anybody wants to email me for a logo recommendation, just do b.silva at kw.com. On my website, you can always contact me through there. It comes right to my regular email. Okay. But yeah, branding is a fun thing. You can really define, I mean, like I said, there is no question in your mind what I do when you see my logo that I'm in technology. Okay. Why can't I go home? I thought you sold eyeglasses. <laughs> right? I could if you saw the amount of eyeglasses I had. Oh. My husband has told me to stop. And they're not cheap. They're not. I have well, a problem. At least where I go. Yeah, I have a problem. Uh, but I love glasses. Like when I wear them. No, I, don't, I don't wear them in the summer. I wear my contacts because I can't stand the the slide Thank down you. all day. Um, I do have a lot of really good blue glasses ones, though, that make me look extra nerdy. Um, and I forget to wear I'm them. sorry. Hold on. Extra? Isn't Brooke the pinnacle of nerdy? I mean, I earned it over the years in the tech world. <laughs> it's a term of endearment, guys. It's a term of endearment. 
your MCA, your MCTT should have the market center brokerage license number if you are in an area that it is required for your marketing. And again, check out your broker, your MCA, the market center leadership on what you have to put on your profiles outside of what Keller Williams makes us put on, that each office is independently owned and operated. And then check with your state. Like I know in New Hampshire, you have to have address. You have to call out cell phone. You have to call out office phone on everything. There's these little things here and there. So just make sure that when you're marketing, you know exactly what your state laws are for marketing when it comes to signage, business cards. And listen, when I was at the market centers, part of my onboarding for new agents was please do not order a business card until two people in the office leadership proof it because I don't want you guys wasting money in case you're not compliant, right? We want to make sure that you can use the business cards and that you never get fined by the board. In our market center in Portsmouth, all the um, Facebook uh, logos, all the, everything has to go through compliance, including business cards. So if you do have any questions with that, talk to your compliance officer, talk to your broker, talk to your MCA. They will definitely be able to help you out with that. Yeah. And you know, Robert, you know what I noticed that happens when agents don't use some of the sites that Keller Williams has relationships with or the market centers have relationships with. Maybe they created it on Vistaprint themselves or they know somebody who's in the print world. But just make sure you get approved to leadership and Guys, I come from the design world. Nothing that ever left my desk went to print or publication without two sets of eyes on it because I make mistakes. Let it be known. It's recorded. I make mistakes. I spell things wrong. I'm tired. I'll look at something and if it's not underlined or if the grammar didn't pick up, I'm going to make a mistake. Your eyes see the mistakes as the real thing sometimes, right? If you spell independently wrong 30 times, it just sticks in your head that you're going to spell it wrong. So just make sure there's an extra set of eyes on those things. I'm in the cloud. Yes, I'm a cloud-based worker. <laughs> so I was in Bedford, New Hampshire and Andover, Mass. And now I'm in my home office some days out of Wilmington, Mass. But I get to travel to all your market centers. So I know I've seen some of you when I visit. I just saw Don. Was that his market center training? Hope to see some of you in my in-person trainings when I come visit. Your nails look great, Jessica. <laughs> How's everybody doing on their marketing profiles? Anybody stuck? Awesome. All right, so you know what? We've got a few minutes left. If there's no more marketing profile questions, let's open it up for any command or Brooke the Nerd or Robert the Nerd questions. We're here to answer stuff for you. I have a question. Sure. Um, where can we find some of the pre-made things like for holidays? Sure. Pre made um, templates. So those live in designs. So click that red. It oh, am I sharing again? Yeah, I am. Okay, share. Go to designs, and then when you you might not see this if you haven't played in designs yet. So you're going to go to design, and I usually just start with social because that's what we're doing most of the time, and go continue. What this does is it pops you into the design template picker, and you're able to just pick the different theme or what you want to do, right? So when you go down to collections at the bottom and new designs, that's usually where the newest holidays live. And then after they bring them up into lead gen and holiday greetings. There is almost every single holiday in here. Sorry, you lost me. I'm on my site. I'm on designs. Yep. And I don't know where you went next. I didn't see your screen. All right, so you go to designs and you go to create design at the top right. Create, okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Create design. And then click social. And then click continue. And it'll say we're loading your workspace.
And do you see a website and it says templates, my designs, assets at the top? Yeah. Perfect. So now on the left, you should see all these drop downs, KW app, listings, lead gen, collection. Yeah. So holiday greetings are under lead gen. And it just loads and loads and loads with all the different holidays. Oh. Right? So now watch this. So we just had Labor Day. So I like using ones that are wide social square because these look great on Instagram or Facebook. So I'm going to hover over whatever design I want and use on the top right is going to pop up. Click on that. Now this is where you can go ahead and edit, right? We can swap out our logo because we added our logo. Okay. I'm going to... I'm going to minimize you and try to do it. So you, so I have to just hear you and not see you. That's okay. And we have designs class coming up. So don't worry. We do have a designs class coming up. Okay. Oh, so you hit use. Yep. Okay. And that pops you into the editor. Okay. And then how do you switch the, um, the name? So you would click on the logo once in a teal um line box and then you just hover over the logo you want to add and there's two arrows and you just click replace logo and it replaces it with your logo because let me tell you guys nobody works for kwdba it's a placeholder but i see a lot of marketing go out with kwdba that's just a placeholder well i'm clicking it and nothing's happening i you don't know why when you can you switch back to me so you can see so when you click on it it should have opened up logos if your marketing profile is done yeah my two logos came up yep so then you would hover over the logo you want to use and hit replace logo yeah i'm doing that and it's oops oh oops okay wait undo yeah it may add it too if you didn't have it selected it may add it See that yucky JPEG? Blah. Okay. So maybe my logo there is wrong because it's not the same logo. It's KW Chestnut Hill. And okay. all I can see in the box is KWC. So is it supposed to be all squishy and I should see the whole thing? You should be able to see the whole thing. We might need you to work with Chris Tobeck. Okay. And just get the right one loaded. So after this, I would just send Chris a quick email. And because you probably, oh, Robert just answered it. You probably have a JPEG in there or something that's low resolution. So, but it was on my marketing profile, but it's not here. But if it was not a high res image in your marketing profile, it is going to look yucky here. Okay. So I would just give Chris a quick email after this and see if he can help you load up the good one. Okay. Awesome. So Heather, let's see. Come here, Margaret. What about our apps and create? We can't. We do have something coming in an upcoming class. What market center are you in, Heather? I'm not going with the numbers. Where is that? <laughs> Next to 613. Not in the 603? Yeah, it's, it's between oh, 613 uh, and 15. You can always reach out to Ashley. Have you met Ashley Lucent there yet? Awesome. So she could probably run you through that super quick. But you guys, are you ready for this? QR codes in Chrome. There's a huge cheat. So I'm going to go to my website, any web page. Right click, create QR code, and now I can make a QR code to any page from Chrome. I know, right? Right? So watch this. So I'm on my page. Say I have a property, right? So say this is my property I want to advertise. I'm just going to pick any near me. Um... If this is something I want to advertise on things, I would just right click, 
create the QR code and boom, you can download it. It downloads as a PNG and then you can bring it right into any design. I uh, love that. I, I know, right, Robert? See, I love when my MCTTs pick up little nuggets of gold from things. He's on the floor. He'll come back to us shortly. <laughs> All right. Any other questions, guys? Because if there's no other questions, oh, Can you just go back to the um, QR code sheet. Sure. Any website. Yep. Got to be in Chrome. Yep. Because Chrome is the only browser you should be using. It's the most safe, secure, and updated. Yep. Right click. If you're on a Mac, control click. Create QR code. It's like the fifth one down. One, two, three, four. Oh, look at that, five. Okay. Six. And then boom, your dinosaur pops up. And you can download this and add it to any marketing. Got it. What? Isn't that the best little cheat? No more paying for QR programs. I can leave now. That, yep. was, that, that was, was it, it, right? That was it. That could have been a five-minute class. Yeah. <laughs> I love that trick. I love that trick. Now, we're going to be doing some stuff with QR codes coming up. I've got some really cool open house and how to really leverage Google Forms at the highest level to have the most incredible open house sign-in. Yeah, I do that. It's the best, right? It's the best. So you, if you're on your Google form and it's go to the what the people would see if they go to your link, right mm -hmm. click, QR code, boom. Now they can scan it with their phone when they walk in, yep. print it out. Everybody knows how to use QR codes. My 90-year-old grandmother knows how to use it at the restaurant so she can mm -hmm. see the wine list. <laughs> Everybody knows how to use QR codes. Everybody. All right, friends, if you don't have any questions, I'm going to cut you loose with an extra 10 minutes. So I'm going to ask you to either update your marketing profile. If you couldn't find your logo, reach out to your leadership or call someone in your data bank and hope they have a nice day. Just wish them a nice day and let them know you are thinking about them and then log that activity in command. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you on the growth call on Monday and then I'll see you again next week on Thursday. Thanks. Continue Thanks, that. Brooke. Happy birthday. Thanks, guys. Have Happy a great birthday. Day. Thank you. Happy birthday, Brooke. Woohoo! Have a great day, Woo. guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Don. Bye, Joe. Bye. Bye, guys. Don't burn your mouth too much on dinner. Listen, I'm going to get spicy tonight. <laughs> See you next week. Bye, guys. <laughs>